Kevin, thanks. BYU students have been hard at work cracking the code to the honeybees waggle dance, which if you didn't know, in case you didn't, it's the way that worker bees communicate. Yes, it is. And now they're taking their research to the next level, trying to talk back to these bees. New specialist Lad Egan, live for us in Provo with the buzz on this story. And Lad, we mean that quite literally, don't we? Yeah, a lot of buzz literally and figuratively here on campus. You know, it is inside this greenhouse on BYU's campus where the students are analyzing the honeybee's waggle dance. You can see here they've actually had to put up some, some caution signs alerting people that honeybees are crossing because it's right here where they are going in and out of the building. And they do the waggle dance when they return from collecting the nectar and pollen. The angle that the bee waggles with respect to the top of the hive is the same as the angle between the hive and the sun when they're doing the waggle. Using a camera and glass-covered beehive, these BYU students have watched plenty of waggle dances. It's about one second of waggle dance per kilometer from what we can tell right now. The dance tells other bees where to find food. The students analyze the instructions in real time with computers. It reads both the distance that the bees waggle as well as the angle it's waggling at, send it to another algorithm, which then uses that to essentially put a dot on a map. They're not stopping there. This little unit will be inserted into this casing. The next step is using a robotic bee to communicate with the real honeybees. And so this bee will be inserted into the glass. So it'll be sticking in and we'll be able to do the waggle dances and rotate. Our robotic bee which will allow us to control the bees and send them where we want to. They're still fine-tuning the robot bee, imitating sound, movement, and a taste of nectar. And then we would set up there with a bunch of artificial nectar or maybe a bunch of flowers. Um, and then we would have a robot bee send the signal to the other bees through our waggle dance in order to tell them to go to that specific location. For these computer science students, it's been a really fun project. Oh, this has been fantastic. Working hands-on with bees has been an unexpected academic adventure. So I'm really excited to get to the testing of the mechanical bee. It'll be exciting to see how, how well they'll follow and, and how, how accurate we'll be able to communicate back to the bees. Yeah, it'll be exciting to see how it all works. And this has been several years in the making, and they hope to have that robotic be functioning by the end of the summer. So we'll have to come back and, and see how it, how it works. And of course, Mike and Dini, you know, this research has a lot of real world application that can help in the agricultural business and help improve productivity. And you know, I've been practicing my waggle dance. I'll share it with you when we come back and, uh, and see how the uh, robotic bee is doing. <laughs> he knew what we were gonna ask him, didn't he? Uh, he did, he did. It might have implications for a Disney movie down the road. Yeah, that's true, huh? Lab thing. Uh, there you go.